Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 20 minutes to 10 on Monday night, on a night that, yes, you guessed it, it's piss and rain in the west of Ireland. I think someone went on holidays and just forgot to shut off the tap, and she's letting her down, day in, day out. I don't know what's going to happen. Someone says I'll have to get a canoe. I think I'll have to build an ark. So is there anyone out there that'll build an ark for us and put the bus into the ark? Be a handy way of getting around. We'll have wheels under the bus or under the, the ark. Um, shout out first to a few before we go to today and tomorrow. Two magpies. No disrespect. Paul Lawless and Kevin Kilbane both said they suffer from the same illness that the can't back winners and that, that they put the mockers on everyone. I always call that one, uh, a magpie. Uh, one for sorrow, two for joy. One for sorrow. Uh, I'm only joking, lads. You're all right. Stick with us. We'll put you on the right track. Uh, Corey, Kerry Robbins, Roberts. Kerry Roberts. Good to see Willie Dunn in Grange Con back at the bar buying a few drinks. Uh, Mark Seaman, Roy the boy. Cal Wade was telling the boys at the post last night that he's a doob or Rui Balia Clea. Um that's about it. If I forget any if I lost anyone, I'll get them tomorrow. Uh, we had two today got off to a great start, great start to the week with Calvic. Um showed a bit of bottle and uh, a bit of goods in his um Drifting out in price, or drifting and running, but uh, showed good battling qualities uh, to uh, get up on the line. Um, won't go up too much for that, and we'll keep an eye on that. That was only its uh, second time over fences. Um, and then thought we were on the right one when it traded one to three or one to four or something in running on the flat, uh, Floor de Mer. It was a good gamble on that. That opened up seven to two last night. And was uh, as short as 74 and 15 days. The one that I was afraid of that hadn't ran on the surface before. Bigger heart battled uh, to beat it. But our lad, I don't know, he needs a set of cheek piece or something. He cocked his jaw, not as much as two runs ago. I mentioned it last night when he won. But um, he uh, there's a bit more in the engine if we could ever get it out of him. But maybe bring him back and trip. But he, he got no cover sort on the outside either. Not making an excuse for it. I thought he was bet fair and square, probably. Um. Anyway, on to tomorrow. Have a lucky fifteen. Just happened that way that there was a few that I had me eye on, and they just all seem to be running tomorrow. Um. They all have a bit of uh, improvement, I think, in them. So hopefully they will do it for us tomorrow. I'll go. As the races are, uh, running tomorrow. The first one is uh, Mayor's Handicap Hurl over 2, 7, nearly 3 mile. Um, Fortune Forever is the selection on the strength of a good run stepping up in trip. I think should bring a bit of improvement out of it. We'll see it here. It's in the white sleeves and the white cap. It runs on, uh, it stays on well to be uh, fourth. So the step up the extra half a mile uh, should uh, be a benefit to it. Grand, then follows fortune With the white cap back in about fifth there now. In front of Come on de Berle, Maggio is held behind them. Between the last two flights of hurdles, Blur Vert is still in front, but with a reduced advantage on Hellfire Princess, and just go for it. I look how I look, is a couple of lengths behind in fourth. Fortune Forever staying on in fifth, and Blur Vert has company, and he's headed off the home turn by Hellfire Princess, and just go for it on the outside. Back in third now, Blur Vert looks a spent force. I look how I look, and Fortune Forever are both staying on. It's Hellfire Fire Princess from Just Go For It as they come to jump the last. There's a length between them. I look how I look. He's still running on between the two. Then Fortune Forever. It's Hellfire Princess from I Look How I Look. Hellfire Princess held the running on. I look how I look. Just Go For It had every chance in third. Fortune Forever in fourth. And they finished. It was been up two pounds for that 
reasonable effort, I thought, and stepping up on trip, as I was saying, should help. That was its first time in a handicap the last day. Put up, up to 100 tomorrow, carrying top weight. Yard going all right. Uh, it was 4 to 1 earlier. 100 to 30, 3 to 1. Um, well, I check. I know I'll, I can check after. We'll see what the green book is hiding on us. Um, we'll stay in. What do you call it? Taunton. There was a hot favourite there. Uh, it's pulled out. Uh, it was doubtful, but it's pulled out. The seems was leaving a, a five horse race. Uh, four geldings and a mare. Um. The selection is Tuna Warrior because the ground is better for it this time. It's good, good to soft, soft in places and I think it's be more suitable for her than the last time it ran. It used to be with Philip Finton in Ireland. Started off there in a bumper behind Nick Rocket and you ought to know that ran in the Cheltenham bumper this year. It only started running a year ago like. Um, what age is it? I forget. Uh, six year old but when it was third there in Kilbegan last September in a maiden hurl that was on the 8th of September it was entered again and declared uh, I think it was the last week of September but it was pulled out on account of soft to heavy ground and then it it ran on soft ground uh, twice it won actually and won very impressively in uh, Weather Bay uh, and his first handicap hurl of 109 was in Ascot. I will see the race here. And this was on good to soft ground. And you can see the horse that was behind it. Um, bad. And bad ran a couple of good races afterwards. But it battled well. It's only beaten by a head by Titan Discovery. I think the on extreme right from the back That's of the in field front here. is Titan Discovery. Havela right comes next. They've got two to jump bad coming back into it to join Immortal. Between the pair was two to Warrior and nearest to us, Titan Discovery, Liam Harrison, the white and blue. Moving down to the last, it's two to Warrior and Titan Discovery. This pair together from the back of the field running on is Douglas DC. At the last flight in purple, two to Warrior. In white, Titan Discovery. Bad is three lengths behind those. Douglas DC is next. It's a ding dong battle. Titan Discovery with a noseband. Tuna Warrior the far side. There's absolutely nothing between them. There hasn't been for a furlong. It's on the nod between top. Last out by a head of 109. And when it ran again, it was off 116. Andy Capper shoved him up six pounds, which was two and a half mile and it was in soft ground. And the last day then in Newbury. Uh, the ground was too heavy altogether for it. Um, it came to the last. Uh, it was going all right, but it it was it, it you could see that just getting tired in it. So I think I think uh, the ground tomorrow, uh, the front runner tomorrow probably will be Celtic Art. Uh, that ran a good race the last day in Taunton as well, wasn't it? Into the park, beat it. Uh, that should be the front runner, and he should be. Following and hopefully we'll do the business. Thirteen to eight, seven to four favorite now. The other one was a seven to four shot earlier. This was a hundred to thirty. Uh, so they're all all the price are tightened up now on the strength of the favorite being pulled out. So that's the selection. Where are we? Uh, we'll stay with uh, Taunton for the next selection. And it's a handicap chase and mayor's handicap chase. And this is the first time that this horse, this mayor, is running over fences. But it it was placed in three point to points, which was with Brian Hassett, um, over three mile, third of eleven, second of three, and third of thirteen. Um went hurl and then got a mark of uh, ninety three. De decent run there first time in a handicap hurdle went to second as she's up in court. Um decent horse. But the last day in uh Taunton, first time it ran at three mile that but it jumped it jumped well. Um 
Mae'n fel sydd bwyd sydd bwyd sydd bwyd. Y fhaedd sydd o bwyd bwyd. Lady Balco was an 8 to 15 shot in this race. And it won again. Not gamely on the inside. Long run as they come down the home straight towards the second last there. Inside the final quarter mile of the contest, Lady Balco uh, now being asked to put this race to bed here. Hasn't shaken off, though, the attentions of Ginderella. Goes up by a length, though, does Lady Balco, and put in a big leap there when she needed one, but she's got a battle on. Ginderella is rallying to the cause under Sean Houlihan. Lady Balco being kept together by Jack Tudor in control at the moment over the last, reached for it a bit, but landed running, and Lady Balco driven out to hold Ginderella. Not as easy as a cakewalk as it was at uh, Hereford last time out, but a decisive win nonetheless in the end as Lady Balco follows up for Dave Pipe and Jack Tudor. For the micro managers. Good run by Ginderella. That Lady Balco won again next time out. Um, it was 86 with a penalty. That was 93 and it won again off 100. It, it jumped well up to. up to. It made a, 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 just hadn't the toe to go with a the more experienced uh, campaigner the last time. But I just hoping with the pint to pint experience and two miles, five and a half furlongs, that it, if it gets into a nice. Um, jump and style out in front. Uh, you know this. Uh, that might be the one tomorrow, and we have one at Newcastle to round the four off. It was one I was looking at as well the last day. You can falls. This was second. Um, it went behind and all the way winner. In who's my daddy? Um, and so the first time it, it ran that far, if you look at all its races, the more the farthest it ran was uh two miles four and a half, but it it stepped up and tripped well the last day. Um, where are we here? It was an ear. Now it was in second place and it just made a slight mistake. Um, further back, so it's in third place there now as we pick it up. Uh, the way back and the winner team. led the all the way, who's my daddy. Festival money back handicap steeplechase. And who's my daddy has made all the running so far. He leads by a length on the turn towards the final four fences. From Azov de Mott in second. Now pushed along in third. Is you can falls. Baron Briggs is next in green and yellow. Then Cowboy Cooper and Wavelength and High Roller all but pulled up now. Four out. Who's my daddy? Up and over in front a length and a half. To Azov de Mott he lands in second place but is under a drive. You can falls is still under pressure back in third. Baron Briggs is trying to stay on a bit. Cowboy Cooper looks beaten and so too Wavelength. This is the final open ditch. Three out. Who's my daddy? One again landed out in front from Azov Dumont over in second you can falls back in third then Baron Briggs wavelength and Cowboy Cooper that was two from the end who's my daddy landed once again with the lead he's four lengths in front Azov Dumont is trying to stay on to the outside of you can falls now push coming to shove on the leader who's my daddy he's made all the running so far you can falls is trying to get closer but another fine jump there from the leader it's who's my daddy by a good couple of lengths over you can falls who's trying hard but who's my daddy has got this one he's going to make all the running he's two out of two over fences who's my daddy the run well first time at the trip i thought um 90 i think it went up it went up three pounds for that so i'll we check the prices Three to one hundred thirty. Um, them four be suitable as well for cross doubles and uh, cross trebles as well. If anybody wants to do that, so um, hopefully we get a couple in anyway. Anyway, it's Monday night. What do we do on a Monday night? We're singing all the songs. This is a song that was released in 1969. I think it uh, reached number six in the charts and it was on a famous album um, in 1970, one of the best albums of all time, Bridge Over Troubled Water. <coughs> so we'll give it a blast. 
I am just a poor boy, though my story seldom told. I have squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles such are promises. All lies and jest, still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Mm -hmm. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy. In the company of strangers, in the quiet of the railway station, running scared. I lay in low, seeking out the poorer quarters, where the ragged people go, looking for the places only they would know. Lie, la lie, shh. Lie, la lie, 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 la lie, lie, la lie, shh. Lie, la 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 only workman's wages, I come looking for a job, but I get no offers. Just to come on from the Hoors on 7th Avenue. I do declare, there were times when I was so lonesome, I took some comfort there. La 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 then I'm laying out my winter clothes and wishing I was gone, going home, where the New York City winters are and bleeding me. Leading me, going home. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade, and he carries the reminders of every glove that laid him down or cut him till he cried out in his anger and his shame. I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains. La 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 la. Lie, la 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 la